In one small valley, there is the stench of death. Unwittingly, the Tyrannosaurus has been drawn into a natural trap. Volcanic vents here are producing poisonous carbon monoxide, and because it is heavier than air, it has formed a suffocating layer close to the ground. The giant predator stands above the layer, but as he puts his head down to feed on one of the corpses, he begins to feel the effects of the gas himself. If he topples over now, he will never get up. Eventually his sheer size is his salvation. As he stands up with his prize, his head just clears the gas layer. There are still islands of greenery between the barren lava flows. In the warm, moist climate of the late Cretaceous period, the vegetation has transformed. Instead of conifers, broad-leaved trees fill the forest canopy. Driving this quiet revolution among the plants is the remarkable evolution of flowers. Their secret lies in their intimate relationship with insects. This is now so close that some flowers can only be pollinated by insects, and some insects, like the butterfly, can only feed on flowers. And among these new plants, the birds are flourishing, and their calls now form an ever-present chorus. Millions of years of evolution have also created intimate relationships among different types of dinosaurs, especially the delicate balance between predator and prey. One dinosaur that specializes in defense is the extraordinary Ankylosaurus. They are evolved to withstand attack even from giant predators like Tyrannosaurus. At seven tons, Ankylosaurus are so heavily armored that even their eyelids are hardened. And if that wasn't enough, they have a formidable club on the end of their tails. Sadly, not even these magnificent creatures have any defense against the natural forces that are suffocating their world. Mm -hmm. 